Hello everyone, so in this lesson we will learn about sections. So I'm in the Academy of Editor X and this is the section lesson. So section are large container which act as the building blocks of each page. By default they are span of the width of the browser and you can set the height as, as, you, as you wish. So this one is section and also this one is section. So this is uh, building blocks. Okay, so add section. You can have as many sections as you want on each page. Add an empty section by selecting section and clicking the plus icon. You can also choose from tons of pre-designed section inside the add panel. Right, so let's add a new section. So this is a blank template and we all already have like three sections. We have the header section, we have the empty section and the footer section. And this is the layers panel. You can see three sections here. But this one is a master one. You can find it here in the master panel. We have the header and we have the footer. Okay, so to add a new section, we need to click here on the plus part. So you can add like a blank, grid, and delta. So let's add one with, with grid. Okay, so I have a new section and then I need to select the grid layout. Nice. Okay, so let's do a simple one all right so this is our new section I can click right click on the section and I have like quick add let's add an image all right we have an image we can stretch it and we can add title Okay, we can add paragraph. All right, noise. And let's add a button. All right, let's stack them together. Nice. And let's make it center and center. We just build this one, I mean, in a few clicks, right? Well, this one is should be. Uh, let's give it some margins, and we can add a container which use as background color. Remove the border and send it to back. Arrange, send to back. All right yeah it's look nice all right next one is moving sections to reorder section select the section and from the three dots on the floating action bar choose move up move down you can also reorder section from the layers panel all right so this is the blank one so we can set need to click here more actions and move up and now it's go up so let's give this a color so it will be more visual all right and we can control it from the layer panels also we can say this one move down and move up all right nice this one okay background color um also from the floating uh, action bar you can design the icon change the click the design icon to change the background color of your section so oh we just did it we click this section and change its color right all right next one is duplicating a section 
you can duplicate section to use same design somewhere else on the page select the section then from floating action bar click the three dots and choose duplicate all right so let's duplicate this one we can duplicate it and we can also click there is a shortcut uh, okay so command D, command D and we have duplicated so let's change this layout this one will go to uh, column 2 to 3 and this one will go to one and two nice all right vertical section you can turn any horizontal section into vertical section select the section and from the three dot click flip to vertical you can also add a full length vertical section by selecting page from the brow breadcrumbs and click the plus icon on either side right so let's flip this one so I can click here and flip to vertical nice let's make it bigger we can drag here or we can set it from here so let's say 500 all right and let's change its background color all right and let's reorder the grid oh we don't have a grid here the grid is deleted apply grid this one uh, two to three let's stretch it and the stack we have let's start from row one to row two and this is a vertical section as you can see it's a full length vertical section we can uh, control the height of it if we drag it you can see that here we have the header section if we drag this one below it now the header is not uh, it's full width it's not calculating the width of the vertical section all right nice oh and let's see if we will drag this one to here so now the height of it i mean we can't do it smaller right no we can't it's still uh, the minimum height of the vertical section is as height as the, the the section in front of it so if we change this one to be like 700 so also this one is 700 the only problem we have here so this one should be auto and this, this one should be max content and we can add margin to this stack element oh, we need pixels all right nice and all right that's it and also we can if this is a section we can set it to be a master section master section let's do it so we click here and set this one to master master section now you can see it have like green uh, border and here in the layers panel you can see that this this is now is master because it's green and in the masters panel you can find it also here so if I will add like a new page 
so it's blank right but then I can I go here and to the master site masters and show on page so I can click and voila I have it here and again I can drag it like this and like this go and set it to be bigger all right nice also we can decide on which page is to show it so I can remove it from here let's say see and I can also detach it from master so if I I will click uh, wait first let's see what happened when we apply some change here so let's change uh, this button style so let's give it background of blue and text white and also the border to be white all right so if we go back to the home page we can see that it's also changed here right but if i will go back and click here and detach from master and now let's say i will delete this button okay and i will go back to the home page and you see they are not connected anymore all right what else we need to learn about sections uh, basically we can change um, section between breakpoints so I can said okay on on the tablet you will be uh, 300 pixels okay and I also can say that on tablet mm -hmm. no on mobile I don't want you so I don't display All right and I can change this grid to be like this be much more nice 50 I mean 50 All right, so on mobile, it's not exist. You can see in the layout panel that this is hidden, and on tablet, it exists, and it's 300 pixels width, and on mobile, on a desktop, it's 500 width. All right, that's it.